Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fotland's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. Professor, you already know about the Battle of the Eagle and Lion, correct? I see. In that case, allow me to fill you in. It's a large-scale mock battle between the rival houses that takes place every year. Its scale is incomparable to the mock battle we fought during the Great Tree Moon. It will take place in the vast Grander Field. That is in Empire territory to the southeast of Garrick Mock. Whichever house defeats the most opponents wins. Of course, the professors also fight alongside their respective houses. Well, usually. Professor Manuela is being prudent. She will not be participating this year. Since his longtime rival will be absent, Professor Hanneman has also declined. Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. Are you feeling any better, Professor Manuela? Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield, anyway. Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily, or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. Oh my, look at you! If you're as confident as all that, my students will walk all over you. We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have. Grander Field is in the Empire. It's actually part of my family's territory, House Burgley's. It is the largest field in all of Fodlin. The grain it produces sustains the whole Empire. Wait, I sure hope we don't destroy all that grain. It is considered the most suitable place for a large-scale battle. Professor, if it were up to you, how would you approach this battle? That sounds like a certain someone we both know. But as you wish, we'll use whatever strategy you think is best. If the Black Eagle House bands together, we won't lose. Our strength is superior. So if we do lose, it will be on your shoulders, Professor. If you are not confident you can do this, just sit back and leave it to me. <laughs> the most you will do is make things worse. You'll just get in Lady Edelgard's way. Are you two about to fight? Oh, <laughs> count me in! Wait, no, no, I think we all need to calm down. We have no lack of opponents. I am ready to go hunting for our enemies. Hunting isn't exactly... Well, I guess they're pretty similar, actually. I 
just gonna hide in the fort and cheer everyone on. There, um, is a fort, right? Sure, but it's deep in enemy territory. How kind of you to offer to cut through for us. What? No, that's not what I meant! Good work, Bernie. This will be your first battle, won't it, Flane? You don't seem nervous at all. <laughs> I shall give it my all. Our battle will begin shortly. The flag of the Black Eagles will soon grace Grander Field. The battle of the eagle and lion is set to begin at long last. Everyone, show off the results of your dedicated training. Remember, we're not just fighting for honor. There's a prize at stake. It's almost time to begin. Steal yourselves, everyone. You all should know, I am not about to go easy on you today. As long as we can pull off the win, it doesn't matter how. Our victory must be absolute, no matter what it may take. It is time.
The ballista in the center of the battlefield. The house that secures it will have a clear advantage. Well done. You're quite adept. I will get the victory. That's my cue. Stay focused. Put me in there. That is that. As you wish. Ugh. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Oh no. and blue lions are fighting. Maybe we can sneak right past them. beneath me. Stronghold for me to seize. Splendid. There goes Lawrence acting on his own. 
Guess we've got no choice but to capture the Central Hill and cover it. makes it past me.
be mindful. Thank you. Stay focused. Thanks for helping. It seems I've exhausted this topic. Spirit protect me. <laughs> Much needed. <laughs> Growth is a part of life. Bridget Pride.
spirit protect me. Many skills, you know. I grasped it. How lovely. The mark of nobility. Bit disappointing. You could have at least tried. Just getting started. Catch! What a thrill! I fear I cannot fight any longer. I'm sorry, everyone. Please continue onward to victory! Must be awful losing to me. If only my research had such results. Great chance for me to find out if the sword of the creator really is all it's cracked up to be. On that note, you'd better not surrender too quickly. Help! 
Time to set my aims even higher. I hate to say it, but it seems we're at a stalemate. Looks like the Golden Deer won't be winning this round. is the end of this year's Battle of the Eagle and Lion. And the winners are... the Black Eagles! Thank you for your hard work, everyone. I dare say that prize is as good as ours. Edelgard, Professor, that was a spectacular battle. You both fought exceptionally well. Complete and utter defeat. I would hate to make an enemy of you two. No need to get carried away with praise. I know you both feel we won by a paper-thin margin. And I won't deny it. If we were to fight again, there's no telling who would prevail. What do you think, Professor? I am honored to hear you say that. Still, I must continue to train rigorously. In any case, I hope the day never comes when we have to put this experience to use. Agreed. I would hate to know a future in which I'm forced to cross swords with you. True, although the Battle of the Eagle and Lion was originally named after a war between the Empire and the Kingdom. But that's all in the past. I'm sure even the name will one day fade from the pages of history. How admirable, Teach. On that note, I have a proposition. When we get back to Garrig Mach, let's have a grand feast to break down the walls between our respective houses. And by a grand feast, I mean a fairly regular feast in the dining hall. It would be a fine opportunity to get to know each other better. Count me in. So be it. Let's plan to meet up on the night we return. Is that okay with you, Professor? What's gotten into you today? I'm not used to seeing you this excited. Seeing such a big smile on your face is a rare gift. It makes me feel like I can maybe relax a little too. It's finally over. There are way too many strangers at that feast. Put your chin high, Bernie. It was a chance for you to have growth. Everyone was acting so friendly! It was overwhelming! Linhart, I wasn't done talking to you! If those Alliance guys came at it from here, and those Kingdom guys came from there... I know, I know. We'd have been able to take them out all at once. I heard you. I'm going to bed now. Did anyone get the feeling that there were already couples forming? That's not really fair, is it? I wanted to sneak off with someone, too. <laughs> 
I was hoping for some tea after our meal anyway. Would you care to join me? I suppose I can settle for you just this one, Spurdy. Until today, I thought it would fall to me to command and guide our ranks all by myself. But with you leading us, I've gotten to experience what it's like to fight alongside everyone. And I've realized how happy it makes me, fighting under your command. The Emperor doesn't take orders from anyone. It's their duty to stand alone and lead the entire Empire. But maybe it's better to have someone to rely on, so that you can support and guide each other through the darkness. I may be heir to the Imperial Throne, but first and foremost, I'm your grateful student. That will never change, even when I fulfill my destiny and become the Emperor. I told you long ago that I wished to enlist you in the service of the Empire. Well, I take it back. Now I wish only for your continued guidance during my eventual reign. Don't just hide away in the corner, Professor. You're the reason we're celebrating. It's because of you that I've had the courage to leave my room for a bit each day. I'm... I'm so grateful, Professor! <laughs> we were all just discussing how well you led us. Remarkable! Your guidance is without parallel, Professor. <laughs> I have had practicing of that phrase. Your training's been top-notch, really. <laughs> Whatever would we do without you? I have had the opportunity to experience much. Please allow me to offer you my gratitude once more, Professor. I feel the same. You are something special, my teacher. I can only call your deeds during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion quite versatile. Comparing against their performance at the mock Battle of the Great Tree Moon, the students have grown significantly. It is clear that this is a result of your guidance. In appreciation of your efforts and to show our high hopes for the future of your students, I award you with this. Please continue to instruct your students as a model teacher. So, you've made good use of all my power after all. I would have been upset if you had failed at such an easy task. It pains me to assign such a disturbing mission to you during such a blessed moment in time. However, next month your assignment will be to journey to Ramire Village to investigate an abnormal occurrence there. Ramire Village? If I recall, you've been there with your father many times. I have yet to ascertain the details, but it would seem the villagers have been acting strangely. I have already dispatched the Knights to verify the authenticity of this information. They should be back shortly. I suggest you begin by finding out what they have discovered. I pray this is not a bad omen. May the Goddess protect you all. <laughs>